In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make gem set clasps. Now this clasp is actually attached to a pearl necklace and it just makes a really easy um, to wear clasp. On here we have um, different sized gemstones, but with all, all with the same sort of um, clasp mechanism. So again, really easy, really nice loops to attach to your chain or your necklace. I'm going to show you how we make these and it's in, obviously in two, two um, separate components. So to start with, we're going to need some one mil wire, two gemstones of our choice, obviously for two different sides of the clasp. We're also going to need some wire cutters, flat nose pliers and bail making pliers. Now the bail making pliers are quite important because uh, we're going to make the little seats that we sit the gemstones into using the bow making pliers and also the loops. And it's great to be able to have all the different sizes for different size gemstones. Okay, right. So to get started, we're going to leave the wire, the one mil wire on the reel. I'm just going to straighten that out slightly and I'm going to start working a little way in. Now, this is going to be, I am, um, if I show you on this amethyst one this is going to be the little section with the loops on either side and then we'll do the hook clasp afterwards okay so we're going to do this little section first so we don't need too much at this end because we're just going to turn a loop so I'm going to pop in my bow making pliers now obviously it depends on the size of the gemstone that you're going to work with as to what size you're going to be using I'm going to use the third largest I'm going to leave enough on here to create the loop. I'm going to pop in my pliers and I'm going to roll around. Now at this point you can take that out, bring in your gemstone and you want the loop to be large enough to just sit on the, on the gemstone. You don't want it large enough so that the gemstone goes through but just so that it will capture that gemstone. So if we sit it on top it will just sit sit there. So that's the size that we're looking for on whatever gemstone that you use. Okay, so we're going to roll it around and then I'm going to roll it around again until we're back in that position. So we've almost got like a little spring section there. Okay, so what you should have, you should have sort of three layers on this side and on the inside you should have two. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut off the, um, the wire from the reel. So now we've got two sort of even sort of lengths there and our little loop in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop my nail in there. You can pop your pliers in there if it helps. And I'm just going to open that up slightly. And um, if, if you find that difficult to do, you can just do that with your pliers. And then once you've opened it a little way, you can open it further using your um, flat nose pliers. OK, so what we're going to do then, we're going to pop in. Pop in our gemstone just there, and then we're going to give that a bit of a squeeze. Now, I'll find that difficult to close that up properly with with my hands. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and I'm going to get both sides of the wire, making sure that I don't um, touch the gemstone. And I'm literally just going to bring those together. And what that will do, that will bring that around the gemstone. So we're just going to close that up and make sure it's nice. Make sure the gemstone is nice and secure. We don't want that to close up completely, but we want that there. So our gemstone is now captured within that little spring that we made okay so now what we need to do as on this one we need to make a loop on both sides now we want the loop to go in different directions so that when it's attached to the necklace or, or chain um, it sits nicely for the the hook to go through okay so what we're going to do is we're going to say this is our i'm going to bring that one round just a little bit more right so this is our sort of point, center point of the gemstone. So we're going to have our loops here and here. Okay. So this is actually probably just a tiny bit long. 
So I'm just going to cut that down slightly. And then I'm going to take my bail making pliers. I'm going to pop, pop them in at the end. And I'm going to roll that loop. So now we have a loop that sits sort of flush on the top. So that's facing upwards on the top. Okay. So we're now going to turn that over. And again, we've got our um, wire here, but this time we don't want to roll it back on itself because it would be in the same direction as this one. So we want it to go in the opposite direction. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop in my flat nose pliers at the point where the center point where it matches up with the, um, the other loop. And I'm going to make a, just kick the wire back like that. So you see now that is in line with that loop. I'm going to turn that over and I think that is slightly long. So I'm just going to take a little bit off there. I'm going to pop my pliers in again, but this time rather than them being in this direction, so we're going to roll it round, I'm going to turn it around and pop it in that direction. So it's going in the opposite to the loop that you've just made. Hold everything because at this point the wire can sort of move around a little bit. So hold everything in place and then roll that loop down. So now we've got a loop going in that direction and we've got a loop in that direction. So that's our first component of the clasp. Okay, so the next one, I'll move that out of the way. Right, so now we're going to make the hook section. And to do that, we follow the same sort of pattern apart from the second loop is actually turned into a hook. Okay, so because we're going to make a hook, we need to leave a longer piece at this end. So I'd say leave about an inch and a half just to make sure that you've got enough and um, because you can always cut that off um, if there's too much. Okay, so as we did previously, we're going to make that, um, that turn in the wire the same size as before because we're using the same size gemstone. We're going to continue that round until we get to that point. So we've got our little sort of springy section and we're going to cut that off again as we did before. But this time we don't need to match it up with this side because this is going to be the hook, remember, but this is going to be a turned loop. So we can cut that shorter. Okay. So now we've got that. As before, we're going to open up this um, middle section slightly. I'm going to pop in my um, flat nose pliers just to get that open a little bit more. And then I'm going to pop in my gemstone. So let's just pop that in. You can hear that popping in. And then we're going to close that down as much as we can with our hands. And again, as before, we're going to take our pliers, making sure we don't catch the gemstone and we're just literally catching the edges of the wire. I'm going to bring that around and close that up. So again, as previously, the gemstone is captured within that um, little spring section that we've made. OK, so now on this side, as you can see here, this is sort of where where we're at. So now you can see on this side, there's a loop and on the opposite side, the clasp. So the shorter end is going to be the loop. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that around. I'm going to cut it down again just because I think it's just slightly too long. And then I'm going to pop my pliers in at the end and I'm going to roll that loop. OK, so that's the loop at the bottom. Just there. OK, so now the other end is going to be the, um, the hook. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that towards me. I'm going to take my bail making pliers and obviously it depends on the size of the hook that you want but for this this hook and for the others that I used I used the um, again the third one up because I just think it gives a nice balance to the size of the loops that you've got okay so what we need to do we need to pop uh, our bail making pliers in sort of um, about halfway up and what we're going to do we're going to roll roll that until we're at a point where we think that that's 
a nice length for the clasp okay and then we're going to just squeeze that so we've got our nice sort of length for the clasp there and we've got our longer section here now this is too long in my opinion but I mean if you want to leave that longer that's fine but I would cut that down to sort of uh, maybe midway uh, of the gemstone okay so we cut that off and then I'm just going to take my uh, flat nose pliers and just straighten things things up so there's our hook there there's our eye that we've made and if you need to you can still so let's just close this, this in a little bit. Okay. So there's our hook and eye. And it literally just goes together like so. Um, and when, you add in, when you're adding it to, I'll show you this pearl necklace again. When you're adding it to necklaces and things, you can go directly from the necklace if you're um, not in. Um, or you can go straight onto a jump ring. Um, but it's just a really lovely way I think of, of creating a uh, gemstone clasp which means that you can um, sort of make the gemstone to match your necklace um, and it's just a really simple way of making it and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, see you soon.